This Fabulous Century. This is uh, a series of books. There are eight books put out by Time Life Books. And they're, uh, yeah, they, they actually start from, the first one is 1870 to 1900. And after that, they go 1900 to 1910, 1910 to 1920, and so on, until 1970. And uh, <laughs> these, these very much look like 1970 kind of books to me. So that's when these um, came out, I guess. <clears throat> and they're really, really cool. I really love them. Mine are in pretty poor shape. Some of them are really falling apart. The The pages are coming out. Not in this one, but in some of the ones that get more, that I've looked at a little more, have gotten, have come out. Let's have a look inside them. They're really cool. So I guess they're quarter bound in this kind of leathery kind of thing. I'm not sure it's leather. And then with this fabric, and each of the eight has a different uh, crazy kind of pattern on them. But I, I do not think they look good. I think they look homemade. But <clears throat> on the inside, they're pretty great. So let's have a look. This is 1950 to 1960. As I say, I pulled out a couple randomly. And they it's just packed with pictures of times, uh, uh, of the times. So this is fads. Remember, this is the 50s, right? So you know, there are these, these fads that people were doing, I guess. And then we have fashion and they're all, they're all different. Each, each book has a different set of things that it looks at. Um, this is, you know, as rock and roll starts to get bigger, <clears throat> these are a bunch of albums. So that's, that's music. Okay. So this is uh, McCarthy and, uh, and the whole McCarthy era nonsense. Uh, and then we go on to some movie stars and we're back in rock and roll and let's move on here. There's Lucille Ball, all, all kinds of stuff. And there's, there's text to help, help you with the content, uh, with the context of what you're looking at, but the stars are the pictures. That's Jack Kerouac. They're just so, I just think they're so cool. Um, MLK. Oppenheimer, uh, you know, who was led the Manhattan Project. Some athletics here. Willie Mays. And that's Ike. And that's uh, that's James Dean. So, you know, the whole thing from the 50s. So let's, let's take a look at another one. As I say, totally random, 1900 to 1910 here. It's going to be a very, very different uh, sort of thing. Um, <laughs> these guys, and I'm going to be less likely to know what it is that we're looking at. Look at these women. These are Italian immigrants. I happen to remember this picture. Italian immigrants putting together artificial flowers, uh, for, as a business. A decade of ups and downs. Here we have some cartoons from the times. These are kids in school. I could just sit here and look at these pictures all day long. <clears throat> the Very Rich. This is a section called The Very Rich. The Scandal of the Decade. I don't know what the scandal of that decade was. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the Gibson Girl, the Gibbous Girl. What is it called? There was a very popular um, artist who wrote, the Gibson Girl, the Gibson Girl who wrote, uh, who, who, who put together these, lots of these cartoons and she became a sensation or something. I only know this from reading this book or reading through the book. The Ladies Home Journal, romance number. All right, this is already getting longer than a normal video, but there are eight of these. I'm only gonna 
flip through three. What is this one? 1940 to 1950. So we're going to get some war. Clearly. The first half of the 40s. This must be the USO. These are Audi, so um, the <clears throat> Audi Murphy, you know, the most decorated soldier. These are all his medals. Now here's kind of an interesting, let me pull it out. You can see all the different kinds of patches and badges that were relevant during the time. Anyway, really cool, really, really interesting uh, every every one of them is so interesting to me. And so it's just it's yeah, a snapshot of the time, but lots and lots of snapshots of the time. So it's called this fabulous century. You can actually still get these. You can get them new even. I mean not that they're still printing them, I don't think, but that people still have them new and relatively new. Mine are in poor shape. I've considered getting, you know, sort of refreshing them, but I don't know. I, I find it hard to, to do that, to, to pay a hundred something dollars to get books that I already have that just, it's just, these are very dirty and falling apart. But for now, I'm going to keep them. This Fabulous Century by Time Life Books. They're really, really cool.